Hello and welcome back to the Meddlesome Mind Flayers. So, we are going to try this again, but because this is a new game, there are certain differences. Now, you might be wondering what those are. Well, if we have a look at us here, you'll see that our Marshal is significantly higher. Now, why is that? Well, basically, every time you load into one of these games, um, it randomizes the stats for characters who don't have them set. So, our character is one of the characters who doesn't have set stats therefore we can actually load in and have significantly higher at Marshall I'm also checking yeah our wizard spell points I believe are also randomized we do have 23 like we had last time but I did another little test game and I had 28 I think it was because one of our other stats was higher so yeah all of this can change but we now have 742 army levies to start with and that's the main thing to look at here now if we have a look at the forgotten forest they also have randomized stats, and theirs are lower. So actually, we're a lot closer to their numbers than it was originally uh, when we played the last one. We also have an extra 500 from our wizard spell, so we have significantly more troops. However, we can't declare war until we get 30 prestige. So that's kind of our first major goal. Now, it'd be lovely if we could get into Chilimbar here. Let's have a look at this. So Chilimbar, actually, they have 27. So they got a massive roll on that. So they have a ton of army levies. But if we could get this, there's a good chance we could beat them. But we need Najara not to destroy them, which Najara are probably going to do. But yeah, we'll see what we can do here. So shun the living, we don't want to do. I also realized why we might have had people not able to be commanders. Let me just double check if this is true here. So... We head in here, go to this. So our commanders are Thulk, who's our spy master. Yeah. So the reason we didn't have commanders previously is because they were holding these positions. So they were um, our spy master and our uh, what's that? And our chancellor. So they weren't able to be uh, commanders because essentially they're already filling a role. So if we wanted them to be our commander, we'd have to take them out of doing their current role. So I think if we clicked recall, he would then be available to be a commander. So we'll try that. Uh, so let's build some zeal. Let's get some legends. Uh, we'll leave you on organizing the army. Actually, organizing the army doesn't do very much for us. We want train troops, right? Yeah, for levy size. Uh, and then, yeah, this all seems fine. Uh, probably so descend to Najara for that one. Right. Uh, heading back in here. We need a designated regent. I'll just pick somebody who likes me. Court physician's going to be this dude. Uh, magical apprentice we'll leave till we need it, uh, till we've got an heir. Right, focus. We're still going to go for the war focus for the extra marshal because that'll give us even more potential for troops. Um, where are we at? Pick an ambition. Um, I think I'm going to pick build a war chest still. We really don't need an awful lot of money for that to be true. So we'll take that one. And then we'll unpause. We need to get to 30 prestige. Let's see how things go. So Chalimbar, I imagine, is going to disappear almost immediately. Luguria... Uh, Luke Durant, what a name, has brought up a grave problem he has with your uh, Thulk. He's been using the Realm Spies to go snooping about in the personal quarters of Luke for his own personal game. So I can remove Thulk from the council or remind him not to do it. I'll tell him not to do it. Bad Thulk. We have diarrhea. We're ca we have cancer. We're a mind flare and we got cancer, huh? Alright, well that's not good. We have a cough. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, who are you fighting here? Najara are fighting, yeah, Chilimber, unfortunately. He thinks we have pneumonia. Okay. Well, he's had decent symptom treatment, apparently. My court scribe tells me that his efforts at increasing religious fervor have worked. Ooh, good job. We have cancer. Oh, wonderful. Uh, let me have a look here. So, cancer lowers our health by three. Does one of these raise our health by a lot? Like, lich, maybe? Yeah, it gives us two health. Oh, okay. So we're currently, we're evened out on health due to our treatments. Well, that's not great. I will just say as long as you know what you're doing, give us a treatment. Okay, that worked. Right, we need another couple of prestige. We've got 30 prestige now. Time to attack these guys. Conquest. Right, we'll then raise some more troops. We'll then call in our ally. He's going to say no, but I want him to hear him say it. Then we're going to head down here, uh, open wizard spellbook, and animate the dead. So it gets us 500 troops. So we now have 1,600, which, as you can tell, is a lot more than last time. Okay. So I'm just checking. What's, what's the special troops here? So, so or what, what's going on with this? 
I don't know. It's just a weird symbol. Anyway, um, so now we have that many troops. We have nobody available to do that. But if I check my commando list here. So we have spy master and chancellor. So if I took my chancellor off doing this job, is he available to lead troops? He is. Aha. So that's the problem I was running into last time. Move our spy master off. He can then lead troops. Look at that. We now have proper army leaders. Although, actually, I'm going to switch these two rounds. So, Thalk's going to lead that one, and you're going to lead this one, just due to how good they are. Then I'm going to attack. How many men do these guys have? 1,000. Perfect. Should be good to go. Attack. Uh, he said no to joining our wars. They have no leader in the center here. They have been crushed. So, this is a massive departure than la from last time. We didn't manage to get to Chilimber in time, but, I mean, there's pretty much no way that was going to happen. They're sieging our land. We're sieging their land. We've won. Uh, we are then going to offer peace and enforce demands. We have now taken over the Forgotten Forest. Uh, we still don't have very many people. Let me just check here our find characters list in court. Yeah, so this is it. So we didn't get any tree people. They must have all left. All right. So now we're going to disband this unit, which is good. Cancel. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Uh, it basically still counted the troops that were still there as important. All right, we'll give you that job. You can go so descent. That's okay. Right. And that's it. We've expanded. However, we've now run into a new problem in that we have nowhere else to expand to. Apart from maybe, can we attack these guys? We can do a ducal conquest because we are in their duchy. Okay, but we can't do it because we need prestige. Psionic mastery is equal or great is greater or equal to 100. Psionic mastery. Uh, I believe that is one of our things. So if I check the uh, tutorials list for us, so Illithid, I believe there's something in here about psionic mastery. There is not. Okay, I'm sure I've read it before. Uh, but anyway, we don't need to worry about that. I'm also gonna. Oh, we can't join this black network anymore because we are... Uh, let's see. Our intrigue is not high enough this time. Let's join a different secret group. Um, so let's join either the Cult of Admodius or the Cult of the Dragon. Let's go Cult of Admodius. Those who serve under the Great Adversary hide in our midst, dedicating their uh, depravities and perfidities to Admodius. Every transgression is a hymn. Every murder a roar of defiance against the word of... Ilsenzin. Lucifer rewards such dark sacraments handsomely. Witches are said to be gifted with unnatural lifespans and all manner of demonic powers. Sure, we'll join this cult. Why not? It'll be fun. Right. Uh, anyone else we can attack? So we can attack Zentarim for independence. And then Jara because they're next to us. What about these guys down here? Why can I attack you? I can't attack you. Okay, but it kind of said that I could, which is why I was confused. I think it just says potential target, probably. Yeah, potential target, potential target. Potent. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I believe in Ajara we could attack for a conquest or a holy war. Yeah. So nobody else we can actually attack right now. So we need to just kind of build up. Um, this one is worth pretty much nothing to us right now due to the levy size being minus 200 for a year. So we pretty much just want to wait a year, I think. Yeah. Let's do that. And then we can maybe do some raiding if there are a large amount of uh, troops that we'll then have. Well, we won't have that many, but you know, well, more than we did. While passing judgment onto criminals from the safety of your throne, a young noble is brought before you. You quickly come to the conclusion the man is indeed guilty. Condemning him might not be the wisest choice, as he is of noble birth. If you were to pardon the man, he might prove himself useful to you, as he would be in your debt. Yes, 100% I want that to happen. Right. So, what that's given us is it's given us a character... Oh, but he is a character who is of our... Oh, okay, so he's already an Illithid. Uh, well, I kind of wanted just a normal human, because I wanted to, well, you know, mind control him and make him our heir, but hey, whatever. We will move on. Uh, I guess we just have to wait till we have um, yeah, enough troops to raid with and actually siege down things. Ooh, I've become a skilled tactician. So this increases our marshal even further. Gives us even more troops. Nice. How many do we have here now? Uh, still recently conquered for another... Oh, okay, for another bit. There we go. 
So our levy is actually 400 here. So we're going to end up with, yeah, like 1,400, 1,500. That's good. You realize to become a great fighter, you need to get in better shape. I'm just imagining our, our uh, you know, mind flare just going, all right, time to hit the gym. Te each tentacle with, you know, a dung bell, 80s music montage, all that sort of stuff. But, hey, it's all right. Um, I'm going to switch this guy to training troops on here because that will increase the speed that we get those 400 troops. So it seems like a good idea to me. And then continue chilling. Hey, we got 100 prestige. We're allowed to declare wars now. Not against these guys still, but you know. So I, st I want to know what psionic mastery is still. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, wait, is this? Oh, it's just the name of our piety. That's where I saw it before. Okay, so we need a piety of 100 to be able to declare the war. Well, that's no problem at all. If we if that's all we need, we're actually going to have a relatively comparable troop numbers to them. Yeah. Okay, I think we could do something against them at some point. We just need, uh, yeah, we just need the troops from here, basically, and then a hundred psionic mastery. That'd be great. Perfect. Recruitment drives giving us a few extra troops. I'm having dinner and plenty of drinks with Mira Vestra of Thoth tonight. It's lovely, yet what I'm most charmed by is Vestra herself. Why else would I not immediately stop her conversation? So is she, she is a dwarf. All right, well, let's uh, let's ask some questions. Sure. While walking the palisades of my village, I am joined by Vestra. I find myself agreeing with a lot of the concepts she presents. The arrogance of the gods particularly resonates with me. Suddenly, she turns to me and, pre and presses a small letter into my pouch, in a small leather pouch into my hand. My lord, will you carry this with you for protection? We will. So this is just a generic event chain from base CK2. But uh, yeah, we're going to move on from it. Essentially, we are going to become a cultist and get forbidden knowledge. It'll make more sense for us once we get into it. But this is all non-mod content. So I'm going to move on a little bit. It's been some time since she was in contact with me. I've been mulling over her words. The priests tell us that those who disavow the gods bricked are bricked into the wall of the faithless for eternity. Um, a grotesque threat from the scared and dependent deities. Um, so why must we always put the needs of the others before our own? Hey, this is greedy, which is national tax. I'll take that. Sure, why not? You find I find some cryptic scrawling written in blood on my bedroom door this morning. The guards say they haven't seen anyone enter during the night, and I dare not ask my court scribe to decipher it. Yeah, I think I understand the pentagram, the mark of the Estelar. Yeah, well, bargain must be struck. Let's go with that. And we have now joined. Well, we have to look out for the messenger. Uh, all right. Yeah, that looks like a messenger for uh, this kind of cult. Oh, wow. I've met an intriguing and hypnotically beautiful woman at court. Apparently, the Ulafilid is a foreign diplomat. Engaged her in conversation for the first time today, and we spoke at length about troop compositions. I was shocked when she carefully pulled up her sleeve, revealing the mark of Lucifer. I'm pleased to find you're not uh, only a charming man, Q lit ick, but also one of the one capable of intellectual discourse. Wonderful. She's escorting us to the bedchamber. We will partake of the ritual. When I wake up, the cloaked figures are gone, and uh, she is lying next to me, a smile tugging at the corner of her mouth. Welcome to the cult of Admodius, Chief Q lit ick, she says. I hold her close, wondering how I will look back on this moment. I have joined the society. Wonderful. Here we can get uh, a bonus for one of our troops. I'm going to take Lightfoot Leader, as I imagine most of ours are Lightfoot troops, just because we're tribal and that tends to be the way that things work. Right. Uh, what would you like me to do? You you need a soul to serve them in a diff. You want me to capture a servant of Il Silsen, a soul to serve them in the Dark Realm. Perfect. Well, that's right. It's a holy person. We've been at peace for too long. Oh no. Uh, so. How do I do the abduction, Sue? You just need... Oh, you just need some person... So a portrait of a prisoner in our dungeon. So we would need to abduct somebody separately. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that right now then. In fact, I'm going to cancel that. I want a, I want an easier mission. <laughs> a mission that doesn't involve me having to abduct somebody and actually use my uh, diplomacy skills. Right. Uh, our psionic mastery is almost at 100, so we can almost declare a war. How are our troop numbers looking? They're looking okay. How are the ones here going? Yeah, about half filled. Okay, so that's about what we expected. We'll let them continue to f let them to continue filling up and keep going. A spear throwing competition. 
Maybe another time. Doesn't really seem like the kind of thing we're interested in. Right, anything else going on here? Magical Apprentice, we don't need. Ooh, you just got me a small army of warriors. That is a small army, but that might be just what we need to tip the scales. You need sacrifice a ruler? Decline. Give me a better mission. A mission that's possible. Right, a hundred psionic mastery has just been hit. Wonderful. So we'll merge up here, so we have 300 troops. So we can declare a war against this guy now, right? Yeah, how many troops do you have? 1.6. So if I raised up all my troops, we're going to be at 1.2, 1. 1.5, plus another 500. We're going to be at 2,000 troops. We would be strong enough. You're not tribal. You own both bits of land, so you have no vassals. To oh, wait, you do have vassals. Uh, but they're all mayors. Okay, so there's no tribal vassals to call in, right? Theocracy, feudal... Just double checking. Yeah, so those are all republics, I think. Uh, republics and feudal. Okay. So the troop numbers we see here are the numbers. You have money, so you can get mercenaries. That's kind of the only negative that we're running into here of declaring war on them. Yeah, I'm going to declare war on them. Let's go. Let, you know, be bold or don't be bold. Right. Uh, we'll call in here. Uh, raise our troops. I don't know what I was trying to say by be bold or don't be bold. It's like the worst thing ever in terms of like a, you know, call to arms. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to buy all those retinues while we're here as well. Why not? I probably should have raised them up earlier. Merge up here. He decided not to join my war. That's fine. Uh, let us get ourselves a wizard spellbook. Get ourselves animate dead. We're at 2,000 troops. Right. Uh, make sure we have leaders, so we will unassign you, unassign you. Right. So that gives us uh, you on one side, Thalk on the other. Slow down the game to speed four. March on in. They want to take me on? I'll take them on. Yeah. I'm not going to take the negative from attacking into hills, but they can uh, attack us. This is fine. They seem pretty confident, which is worrying. Uh, okay, so their center leader is really good, but their right flank just immediately fell apart, which is wonderful. Their left flank is going to fall apart, so as long as our center can hold, I think we'll win. Oh, their, their right flank came back. Oh, wait, they got more troops. Oh, I missed those entirely. So where did they get those A extra troops from? Hired 2,000 troops. My lord. Okay. I, I wasn't I didn't realize you could get quite that many troops for hire. Oh, maybe they have a holy order. They have a holy order? Uh that is something I did not take into account. Try to see how I would find that out. Uh I don't know how I'd find that out, but if they had a holy order, that would definitely fit you know, that would explain the troop number difference. I believe we're about to lose. That's okay. Uh I might just surrender. Yeah, they have 4,000 troops. We've learned something. I'm just going to surrender. We only have to pay 8 gold. So I'll pay my 8 gold and be happy with it. Alright. Well, uh, we'll walk. wait a second. Yeah, okay. We'll walk back here. And then that'll probably be everything that we need to do. Right. Walk back here and disband the troops. Wonderful. Right, well, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. We have achieved more than last time. We expanded into an extra province, which is very good. We have discovered another target to attack, and we know exactly how many men we need to do it. On the post, yeah, actually, they didn't lose any money from attacking us, so those must have been holy orders they hired, because you can hire them with piety, I think. Uh, or they might be free if you're being attacked by a different religion. I'm not entirely sure how they work uh, in this particular mod, but anyway... Essentially, what I'm getting at here is they hired some troops and then we got screwed. But that's okay. At least we know exactly how many troops they'll hire in the future and we can work on that. Another thing we might want to do is start thinking about maybe um, like making this guy like us more. If we made this guy like us more, then we can potentially uh, get him to win the, this kind of war for us in the future. So actually, before I end the episode, I might uh, just start swaying him. And we'll see how that all goes. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.